scenes, snippets, and cues. And effect presets. What are they? When do you use one or the other or both? How do you save them and load them back quickly with just one push of a button? That's what we're doing today. A scene is everything on the console. Fader positions, EQ, compression, effects, routing, everything. You can think of it as the project file, like a Pro Tools session, for example. It has all the settings that are on the console. Snippets are some channels, some effects, some processing, some buses, not everything. Things that you choose to change in the scene. Now, how do you load a scene? These are the scenes. This one I did in Easter. So I can either click on go right here or I can go here and click now. Then confirm it. And this is the entire show. Now, if I go to the snippets, each one of those is what I would change for each individual song. So if I click on the first one, Confirm. But why even bother with snippets? You can just save everything as a new scene and load that, right? Yeah, you can, but that's not good practice because when you load a new scene, you will have an audio dropout. All the sounds from the mixer will go for a second and come back. And you don't really want that in the middle of the show because the routing settings are also saved in the scene. So when you load a new one, it will overwrite everything. It's as if you're unplugging and replugging your output. To save a scene, you're gonna go to an empty placeholder. Make sure you don't save over an existing scene because it will be lost. Go to an empty placeholder, click save, type whatever name you want, and then hit save. And here's your scene. To save a snippet, also go to an empty placeholder, choose whatever channels you want, whatever processing you want, and then save click save type your name whatever name you want and then hit save and that's your snippet you can also export and import scenes and snippets to a usb stick and i highly recommend that especially if you're doing church sound because sometimes someone might be operating the mixer that doesn't really know what they're doing and might screw up the scene or the routing or whatever just have a safe copy of the scene on your usb stick and that's a lifesaver. So just plug a USB stick, then go to your scene, then hit utility, then export scenes, save, and then if you want to import it, go to another slot, utility again, import scenes, search for it, that's the one. You're going to select and import, confirm, and that's the scene. Same thing with snippets, you're going to go to an empty slot, Pick whatever channel you want, whatever effect you want. And here's a quick tip if you want to select many, just press and hold and turn it. Then save, pick a name, and then save it. And it's the same thing. Go to export snippet, save, and then utility again, import snippet, and search for a snippet. And that's it. Select import confirm cues are like someone calling the scenes or snippets or both of them and saying hey it's now your turn come and get loaded i'm gonna go to the cues page add a cue name it save and then i'm gonna select a scene select it i'm gonna do another cue add cue name it something else save now i'm gonna add a snippet select it and add another queue, name it something else, save, and I'm gonna now add a scene and a snippet. Now to load it, go to the queue, load, confirm, or you can set up the assignable buttons in the assign section of the console to load a queue, a scene, a snippet with just one click of a button. I did a more in-depth video on these buttons. I'll link it up here or down in the description. But basically, I want to assign each one of these buttons to load either a queue, a scene, or a snippet. So I'm going to click on view, go here to set B, for example. And I'm going to say button number five here is going to queue recall the first queue. Button number six is gonna queue recall the second queue. Button number seven is gonna queue recall the third queue. 
Then button number eight, I'm gonna do a scene. So scene recall, first scene, button number nine, scene recall, second scene. You get the idea. Button number 10 is gonna snippet recall, the second snippet. And now if I click here and confirm it, this is the first cue. Effect presets, that's an easy one. Sometimes your guitarist, for example, forgets his amp. And what are you gonna do? Is he gonna play a dry DI signal? No, you're gonna use the amp effect on the mixer. Now, does it sound great, amazing? No. Does it do the job? Yeah. So here's how to save the preset, load it, import it, export it. This is the guitar amp effect. I tweaked it, I like how it sounds. Now I'm gonna save it to use it the next time my guitarist forgets his amp. So I'm gonna go here, click utility, then go to an empty slot, save preset, name it something, then save. Now, if you want to export it, go to library, go to that preset, and then utility again, export to the USB, save. And now if you want to import it, I'm going to go to another slot, utility, import, and this is the preset, import, confirm. And you can do the same thing with channel presets and routing. If this was helpful, consider hitting the like button to help it spread to more people. And if you wanna learn more about the user assignable buttons, mute groups, DCAs, click here. If you wanna learn how to do live reverb ducking on this mixer, click here and I'll see you in the next video.